Yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Dragon Ball Super, episode 65. Let's hop right into it. We're not going to waste no time. We're not going to waste no time with this one. 10 out of 10, perfect. 10 out of 10. Listen, listen, all right? I don't want to make it seem like I'm just giving out 10 out of 10s. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that that's not what this is about. But at the same time, I'm not going to try to be this this ridiculous critic and 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 not call a spade a spade not give an episode what it deserves because because i want to say 10 out of 10 is whatever like as far as far as what i expected as far as what i want from dragon ball super this delivered this was perfect this was another perfect episode as far as what i expected from the series I didn't want anything else from this episode from what it gave from what it gave me. I am fully satisfied. All right, we're gonna jump into what happened. First of all, hold on before we even jump into anything. I oh, I feel like every week I gotta big up my man Trunks. I don't know how they're managing to do this. Where it's like he's not obviously the focus uh, of 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 the 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 main protagonist here, Goku and Vegeta, right? Like. They're the guys who you somehow expect to finish this off. But Trunks just keeps putting in work. Like, I like I don't... Listen, I feel like whenever Trunks is on screen and he's in serious mode, like, shit is about to go down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Trunks just keeps impressing me, man. Like, this guy... Listen, say no more. Say no more. Trunks, MVP. Again, Trunks is MVP. All right, that scene when Trunks shows up and he did he he did the Gallic gun, and Vegeta showed up right behind him and hit the Gallic gun with him. You know what it remind me of? Oh my God, that was beautiful. That scene alone, that's what pushed it over the head. At first, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking, all right, I'm gonna give this episode nine out of ten. I'm loving it. This is crazy, whatever. But the stuff with the human, I wasn't really digging that. With the humans running around, I don't give a shit about the human, right? The humans, like. I, I just don't care. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't give a shit. If they live or die, whatever. I don't care. The only one I slightly care about maybe is Mai, but I, I really don't even care about her. But that scene where Vegeta and Trunks did the Gallic gun against Zamasu, it reminded me of Goku and Gohan doing the Kamehameha against Cell. And it was just so epic looking. It was so perfect. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Vegeta for that one, man. Shouts out to Vegeta. You know, like, that's going to be the thumbnail. I'm going to have to get a screenshot of that. And you can see that that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That whole scene was crazy. Shouts out to Trunks. Like, Trunks has an iron will. I respect that. I love seeing fighters where no matter what they're up against, oh, you're a god, huh? Oh, you're a mortal, huh? Oh, you're the strongest person. I don't care, like. I'm going to fight you. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. I respect that. Trunks is MVP. Trunks is Trunks is putting this this whole arc on his back right now. You know what I'm saying? He's putting Dragon Ball Super on his back right now. Shouts out to Trunks, man. Shouts out to Trunks. And I was talking to a friend of mine. I was telling him he's opening the door for Gohan now. And it's crazy because Gohan is his mentor. But before, now we're seeing Trunks do all this crazy shit. Like, you know... If Gohan has a similar transformation in the next arc, for example, it won't be this huge surprise. It won't it won't be this huge debate. It'll be like, oh, that's what the hidden power for you know for Saiyans are now. You know, especially ever especially since they've been exposed to God mode or they've seen God mode God mode or trained with God mode. This is what the hidden power of of you could even go as far as to say half Saiyans, you know? And I'm gonna make a video about the whole half saying theory because i really want to talk about that i have a lot of really interesting stuff that i found out but the the theory sort of revolves around half saiyans so the half human half saiyans are actually stronger than pure-blooded saiyans uh if you look at gohan if you look at what trunks is doing now you gotta think like you know trunks was super saiyan you know as like a child you know what i'm saying like with it took goku had goku first super saiyan was way into adulthood you know, like these kids are way stronger. It's almost like they just need to be exposed to it. They just need to see that it's possible. And then they just hit it like that. Like, like, you know, easy. So I think, you know, right now, 
Trunks is opening the door for a return of Gohan. And that's making me excited. But it's not about Gohan right now. Gohan is hitting the books or whatever. Right now, it's about Trunks. MVP. Easy. Easy. You know? At first, I was a little disappointed with, with when Vegeta got hit with that key blast in the face. I was like, damn, yo. Are they shutting Vegeta down like this again? Talk about the first time. Um, but, you know, he came back. He did his thing, you know? And they still got the sensu beans. Like, they're all right right now, you know? Uh, we know Vegeta was coming up. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's talk a little. Let, let, let me, okay, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let's put stuff into perspective for a second. I think the power scaling for Super Zamasu, and that's what I'm going to call him. The Fuse Zamasu, I'm going to call Super Zamasu. I think the power scaling for him is on point. I think it was done perfectly. The fact that, you know, like Trunks could push back his uh, blast almost by himself. Well, not really, but he could hold it. You know, he, him and Vegeta could push it back together. The fact that Goku could sort of see him manage it a little bit by himself, I think that makes sense, you know, um, because I think individually Vegeta was stronger than uh, Goku Black Rose, right? Individually. I think if it was a fight to the death, you know, it would be a tough fight. But at the end of the day, Vegeta would win or Goku would win if it was just Goku versus Goku Black Rose. You know, um, the problem is that Immortal, when, and, and then when we talk about Goku or, or Vegeta versus Immortal Zamasu, I think that they were way stronger than Immortal Zamasu. They just couldn't kill him. They just couldn't kill him because he was immortal, right? So, you know, the fact that uh, the Patara Air Infusion multiplies your uh, your power level by a crazy amount, it's like, like you know, I get that. But with Zamasu, he, he had go the only crazy sort of factor amount of strength that he had in his fusion was Goku Black Rose because Green Zamasu... Immortal Zamasu wasn't really that strong. He was just immortal. He brought the mortality to the mix, you know. So, in my opinion, I don't think, you know, if if when he had Fuse, he was just, like, untouchable, I think that would have been too much. And I think the fact that he is touchable, he's already showing that, you know, like, he's he can get pushed back. And, you know, that I think, I think, I think that's good. You know, I, I like that they didn't go crazy with his power level. So, that's a huge plus. And obviously, we see Vegito is coming up next next uh, next episode in the preview. Vegito, uh, not just Vegito, but Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Um, I think as far as just power, Vegito is he's gonna be outclassed. I think Super Zamasu is gonna be outclassed uh, by by uh, Vegito uh, because Super Saiyan God Vegito like. When Vegito first came on to the scene, when they were fighting Boo, he was in his base form, and Boo couldn't touch him. We've never met anyone who could, who, who's given Vegito a fight, you know. And we're talking about Super Saiyan God Vegito, you know. Uh, I just, I just, I think as far as raw power, Vegito should be able to almost toy with him. As far as power, the problem is going to be because he's immortal, you know. I think that's going to be the issue. Um, they're going to have to figure out a creative way to kill him because he's immortal. But I think for the power scale to make sense, Vegito has to be much stronger than him. And I think this is crazy that this is coming into play so early because Weez did say when they were fighting Golden Frieza, he was like, if Vegeta and Goku fight together, they will be way stronger than you, Beerus. That's what Weez told Beerus, right? And I remember when, when I when I first saw that, I was thinking, does he mean if they fight together as a team or if they fuse and fight together? And, you know, either way, the fusion is the strongest version of that. Because two of them fighting together, you can see two of them fighting together now against Super Zamasu. They won't be able to beat him. But two of them fighting as Vegito, Vegito was way stronger. The fusion makes them way stronger, right? So... I think right now, Vegito, that fusion is stronger than than uh, than Beerus, and I don't know why I care. <laughs> you know, it's not like Beerus is the end all, but I think right now, 
that fusion is strong and embarrassed. So any oh, and a couple things to keep in mind about that fusion. I I don't know I don't know what sort of uh, a lore what kind of you know if if these things are gonna stay true. But apparently when he powers up, he can't power back down. So when Vegito goes to Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito can't come back down to like sort of black hair Vegito. Um, so, and I'm saying Vegito by the way, the fusion, not Vegeta. So I don't, you know, I don't know if that's gonna be true here or not. Um, another thing is they can't split after they fuse. Obviously, that they're gonna have to split, right? <laughs> like, you know, but um, that was the Dragon Ball Z, Z lore of Patara Aaron's fusions, where once you split, it's once you fuse, it's permanent. You you become one entity and you stay that permanently. I think the Kai obviously split. I can't remember how they managed to do the split. So I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe the the uh, Goasu could uh, split them apart after they beat Super Zamasu or whatever. But you know, overall, guys, ten out of ten episode. Like I said, this is a guilty pleasure series for me. And as far as providing what I need, I felt like I was just eating, you know, freaking chocolate cake. Like you know. Or carrot cake. I don't really like chocolate cake. I feel like I was eating a giant carrot cake by myself. Like this is crazy. Like this was crazy. This was a perfect episode. Uh, Trunks was the icing on the cake. He did his thing again. You know, again. Hats off to Trunks. Hats off to Trunks. All right. Round of applause for Trunks. Uh, for future Trunks. Um, and that's it. You know, let me know what you guys think of this episode. Let me know if you're as excited as I am about it. Uh, let's chat, leave a comment, let's talk about it. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Alright, that's it. Bye guys.